Hello, in this video I just want to show you how to use pages instead of blog posts to um, put things into your Genesis slider. Now there's two Genesis sliders, there's the Genesis slider and the responsive slider. But for what we're doing today, excuse me, <coughs> pardon me, what we're doing today they're, they're virtually the same, or the, the settings for this bit are. Right, what we've got, first of all we've got the Genesis slider plugin, we've installed it and then just click activate to activate it. So what do we do then? You need to know the page ID of the pages you're going to use and you need to know the size of the image in the uh, in the slider. You've got to have the right size image. So the easiest way to find the image size is go to the Studio Press uh, site, look for the demo of your particular theme and then if you're using Firefox browsers, you can do this with most browsers, but uh, this is how you do it with Firefox. You need to know the size of this image. I'm using associate theme, so I've gone to the demo page of the associate theme and I click, right click it and I choose view image info. And then a pop up appears and it's got dimensions there 870, 400. So I need to put those settings into my plugin 870 by 400. So we're going to our dashboard, Genesis, slider settings. And we scroll down and look for display settings and then set that to whatever the sizes were. Mine were 870 by 400, so that's what I put in there. Do that before you upload the images for your, um, for your slider. Right, so how do we actually get at the, the pages or posts we want to use? First of all, you've got to make a page that you're going to use. So let's pretend we made this company profile page and we've put a big picture at the top of the page, a bit of text further down. So the way the image gets in there is you've either got a picture here at the top of the page that's at least as big as the settings, that 870 by 400 that we found by uh, checking the size of this, or you can put it in as a featured image. You don't have to have a picture in your page to have a slider you can put a picture in this featured image here but it's got to be the right size so on our particular theme that right size was 870 by 400 so this one's got an, in an image included at the top of the page so all we need to do now is find the ID for that page so we go to pages all pages and hover over the name of the page we want to use so if we hover over this page, it tells us down at the bottom of the screen here that the ID number. So hover over any page title, that one is uh, post equals 247. So that's what you're looking for, post equals and then the number. Um, where's another one we're going to use? Customer services, post equals 249. And there's another one, I will go post equals 251. So I wrote those numbers down that have popped up down here. I wrote the numbers down and then I went to the Genesis slider settings and what I did where it says type of content I've chosen pages not posts but pages. Uh, then I've chose, chosen include or exclude by page ID. If you choose post you'll see different uh, a different set of uh, dialog boxes. So we've chosen page, then include or exclude by page ID, and then you're looking for you've got to, you've got to actually select include. It's, it just says select to start with, but you've got to actually choose include, and then just type in the numbers of the IDs that we've just got. Put the number and then a comma. So I've got two four seven comma two four nine comma two five one comma. Yours will obviously be different whatever your um, page IDs are. Type in this number of slides to show, type the number of slides you're going to show, um, and that's more or less all you have to do. So we'll click save settings, and that the slider will work. So that's all you need to do to add pages, or very specific pages, any particular page you want into your um, slider. Now I made this just so you can go through if you get stuck, it's a bit of instructions. Uh, so what you need is type of content, include or exclude by ID, um, the, the ID numbers separated by commas, you don't need a comma after the last one, and the number of slides to show. So if you, if you get stuck, just stop the video there and have a look. 
and it's all about this plugin. The, the, well, there's Genesis Responsive Slider and the Genesis Slider. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.